Um, we're back to Firefly and this time I'm going to show you how to add elements to your photo using Generator Fill. So we are back to the beta version, at least for now it is, we'll use Generator Fill. Let me first show you how to remove objects from a photo using it. It's quite simple. You're right here you can use Insert or Remove, but let us directly go to Remove. You can adjust the brush settings right here. But in most cases, just keep the defaults, paint over what you want to have removed, and then just confirm. It's going to take some time. It's going to give you four variations, so you can choose them or just click on more to regenerate. And you can see the results are quite good. Mountains, they look a little bit different here and there from variation to variation, but it did even a good job when it comes to the shadow of the palm tree on the left. Let us keep this and remove more elements right here. And I'm going to cut into this element right there. And again I confirm via remove and you can see it even does a good job at completing the element that I've cut through. It looks natural. So the shadow is fine, this wooden element is fine and even the background, the ocean is fine. When you're happy, you can download it right here. So removal is already very good, but when it comes to adding stuff, it's a little bit of a hit and miss. Let me use this image right here. And I want to insert something instead of just removing stuff. Let me size it up right here. And I want to get rid of the sky. It's too dark for me. I want to have a blue sky on a sunny day right here in the mountains. Once I've got it selected, I'll describe what I want in its place. So keep in mind, I'm right here on the left in insert mode, not removal. Again, it takes some time. It gives you four variations and you could always click on more. But in this case, I'm already happy with what we've got right here with our first iteration. Let me keep maybe the second one. So this works very well, especially when it comes to background, style, sky in this case. But if I wanted to add a sun, let's say right here, top right, it's a simple task. So nothing too complex and I've given the AI much playroom. And all that we get is something that looks like this. So you can really work with that. Even if you go more specific and use create a photorealistic sun. It's not going to work that well, at least not the iterations that I've tried. So adding stuff to your photos is still a hit and miss using generator fill. But if you have these background adjustments where you want to change the sky or remove these elements and have the AI complete your photo, it's already very, very helpful and it gives you great results. As I've mentioned in the last video, it's still free to use. I believe you have to have an account on Adobe though. But once you've got one, you can use this beta version for free online. I'm going to link to it in the video description below. Let me show you a different example. Sun didn't work, but instead I'll add a small plane right here. And this is something the AI should be able to handle. It's not perfect, but it's not awful either. So for example, I could use this one. It looks somewhat realistic. And this is all I wanted to cover with a generated fill on Adobe Firefly. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.